But let's talk about BEL. Reported numbers a few days back. Vivek joins in for more on that. Vivek. Well, that's right. So, BEL, you know, reported numbers a couple of days back. You know, they had the analyst call yesterday. A uh, couple of things to note. FI23 guidance, the company managed to meet. Uh, it was actually a very stiff task for the company because at the end of nine months, uh, you know, there was quite a bit of a backlog as far as revenues as well as margins were concerned. But the company managed to beat both the revenue as well as the margin guidance. In fact, reached the higher end of the margin guidance at slightly northwards of 23%. Now, after the analyst meet yesterday, you know, they've gone ahead and reiterated the FI24 guidance that they mentioned to us uh, in our interview. So what is the FI24 guidance? Revenue growth guidance, quite strong. We are seeing it at 17%. Order inflow guidance, again, quite strong at 20,000 crore. And EBITDA margin guidance, they have maintained at 21 to 23%. R&D expenses, you know, important metric to track as far as BL is concerned. They're expecting to keep it at close to 7% of the total sales. And exports, you know, they've gone ahead and almost doubled the target that they have as far as the export turnover is concerned. They are expecting between 90 to $100 million of exports coming in. Now, one important uh, development as far as Bharat Electronics is concerned is the likely inflow of uh, one particular missile, which is known as the QRSAM, that is the Quick Reaction Surface to Air Missile. Now, the guidance that the company has given does not include any orders from this particular uh, you know, missile system, but the management did allude to the fact that towards the end of uh, FI24, fourth quarter or uh, FI24, remember, these are very large orders, they expect some deals to fructify. If that happens, you know, the company should be able to comfortably beat its order inflow guidance. Uh, no wonder then brokerages are very bullish after the you know, management meet. Uh, Antic continues to maintain its buy. They like the company on the back of the robust order book position, strong pipeline as well as consistent delivery of 20% plus EBITDA margins. All right. Uh, so, I mean, <clears throat> for now, the guidance for 24 implies revenues to grow 17%. Uh, Vivek, thank you very much uh, for that. But uh, we'll see one and a quarter percent higher. Stocks at about uh, 110 right now, BEL.